So today we're gonna to be deep cleaning this 89 Mazda RX-7 that has been sitting for over 10 years in a garage. And we're gonna do an inside and outside restoration, kind of getting this thing ready for the owner who plans to rebuild the thing completely and get this thing back on the road. So I'm excited for this one because I love JDM cars of this era. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite eras of vehicles and that's a whole nother topic we'll talk about later on but if you guys are new smash the subscribe button I need to make sure you guys turn on those notifications so you see when these videos come out every single week and I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started And for those that are wondering, in last week's video, I had you guys guessing how much change was found in that Toyota Highlander. And I'll have an iCard up for you guys to go check out that video as well because it was it was truly nasty. Um, but the winner from last week was Hannah Whaley. She guessed $35.18, and it was actually $35.17. So super, super close. Um, and Hannah wins last week's giveaway. So uh, congratulations to Hannah. Now with the seats pulled out and all the vacuuming done and all those mouse turds that we found underneath those seats removed, I'm gonna start removing as many of the panels on the inside, the dashboard, or the uh, center console, getting all those out of the way to see if there's any mice nests hiding underneath there, um, getting all those components pulled out so that way it makes it easier from an extraction standpoint, but also to make sure everything is cleaned as thoroughly as possible.
Now with all those you know interior trim pieces removed, it's time to start deep cleaning all the different components. And for that, I'm using Mint Shine All Purpose Cleaner, leather conditioner and leather cleaner, which you guys can pick up on foxclean.com. There's definitely several specials going on, but make sure you head over there after the video to pick up your detailing products and sprays, whether it's brushes, towels, spray products. I got it all there and ready for you guys to check out. For these rust spots, I'm using a rust remover carpet solution. This is specific for this sort of thing. And despite the amount of rust stains on this carpet, I was able to minimize them, remove several of them, and you can see where some of it actually lightened the rest of the carpet as well. Um, but speaking with the owner, they do definitely plan on dyeing this carpet. So by extracting it as we get through the process of detailing this car, it gets it ready for that step. Um, but you can definitely tell that there's a lot of rust where the rails from the seats were sitting. And then later on, you'll see a lot of the carpet actually has a lot more rust surface area. So the floor pans underneath are definitely rusting through a little bit. Hopefully it's all surface rust, but I'm gonna let the owner of this vehicle take care of that portion of it and get a good idea of what needs to be replaced.
when I was speaking about the rust earlier, this is what I'm talking about here. You can see this light brownish kind of color on the carpet itself, and this isn't actual staining from dirt. This is some of the rust that's probably underneath the carpet there on that floor plan. Um, hopefully that surface related kind of seeping through and dyeing the carpet. So um, by extracting and getting them all clean, like I mentioned, this will be a, make it perfectly ready for a dye job to make this thing completely dyed to a new color, whatever the owner decides. One of my favorite things about this era of vehicles, especially the 80s, the 80s was a really weird time with cars, but also really unique because of the different gadgets and all the different switches and things and unique characteristics that you didn't see in cars before, but also in certain JDM cars in particular, you saw some really cool things that were not very common. Like this one has speakers in the headrest, um, but it's also got like a switch on the side to turn them on or turn them off. And then the gauge cluster has really interesting dials for the pop-up headlights and for everything and it's one of the coolest things about this era of vehicles that you'll see in some of the after shots especially but um, I think that the simplicity but also the uniqueness especially in Mazdas and Nissan like the 300 ZX back in the day that had some really really cool lights on and dashboards but um, whenever I see these cars it's always a treat just to kind of get to experience that era of vehicles and see what was so unique about them, but also how far we've come with modern cars.
Give me some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind. Yeah. For you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do. Now for the leather seats, I'm using Mint Shine leather cleaner and conditioner to kind of get these all cleaned up along with my leather brush. Um, but you can see some of the brown dyeing that's kind of happened on these seats. And what has happened with this one in particular is the sun has essentially degraded the, the plastic type coating that they put on leather seats. Um, whether this is a vinyl seat or leather, the discoloration is something that you really can't completely remove but by cleaning and scrubbing them at least removes all the dirt gets as much out as possible without you know further damaging these seats which definitely need to get reupholstered at some point or completely replaced I'm going out my mind give me some directions to get to you to get to you ain't gonna waste my time I know that we got connection, I think about you, for you my love. You drive me crazy, tell me what to do, what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you. I'll break the rules if it will give me two, give me two,
Now for me, the FC Era RX-7 is one of my favorite. I would definitely not consider a ragtop being what I would pick, um, just from the fact that hardtops are more rigid and definitely more collectible. Um, but for this one, it made it so much easier to detail with the ragtop because you didn't have to worry about that roof line. Plus, I can get a lot more of these shots for you that are a lot easier to film for that matter. But reassembling the vehicle, got the whole interior done, and now we're gonna start working on the outside here very shortly. And I threw in this clip just because pop-up headlights are awesome. Now before I even start scrubbing or cleaning anything, I want to remove as much of that pollen as possible. So the vacuum definitely helped with pulling any of it in the grooves or lines, especially on the windshield, getting as much removed so that way I don't overly load up my microfiber towels, um, especially if you can just vacuum them, some of that stuff up. For this soft top, I'm just using all-purpose cleaner once again, and then I'm using my drill brush to kind of help move it around quickly, and then wipe in and clean with a microfiber towel. Now because it is uh, below freezing in Ohio right now, washing cars is pretty much not really an option, um, but if you've never heard of, they do have waterless car wash sprays that you can go on. It's just a super high lubricity, lubricity, lubric, lubric, lubricate. You get what I'm saying. You spray it on and wipe it off with a clean microfiber towel, making sure you constantly are folding it over so that way you have a clean surface um, at all times to remove that dirt from the surface of the paint. Now with the outside completely cleaned off and kind of all the dirt removed and the wheels done, I'm going to be using my Galactic Ceramic Spray from Mint Shine. This is a spray-on type ceramic coating, so it's not a full ceramic coating where you need to polish the paint and go the whole nine yards. This is a really easy application type spray that will last six to eight months, um, keeping the water beading, keeping your car paint protected. So spray it on, wipe it off with a clean microfiber towel is all you have to do to get this coating applied. Thank you. 
And for the mirrors in particular, I'm using a Trim Restore product on those to rejuvenate, kind of apply some uh, moisture to them so that way that plastic doesn't dry out any further, but also restore some of that color as well. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I need to make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up, but also make sure those notifications are turned on so that way you guys don't miss out on any new videos coming out on this channel. But once again, thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed this car especially. Um, like I said, I love this era of vehicles, and I will see you guys next week.